Rolling, rolling. We are now rolling. Hello, this is Messiah of the Houston Collective here on KPFT 90.1 FM Houston. Uh, today we have a special segment. Uh, we are featuring an artist this time. It's not music, but it's an artist. So uh, let's uh, jump right into it. Please, uh, Connor, introduce yourself for the seventh time because the <laughs> viewers and the listeners did not hear the sound check. It's all right. Uh, <laughs> my name is Connor Day. I'm a local Houston artist. Um, lived in Houston my whole life. And I was born here and uh, love Houston so much. It's my hometown. You didn't say bread. I didn't say born and bread this time. <laughs> <laughs> I should have been like, I was bred here. Yeah, I know. So I, <laughs> you know, I've been telling everybody, like, this is probably not a regular radio show because I'm not a radio dude. So I was like, you know what? Let's, let's just show personality. Because, yeah. I, I, you know, uh, actually, I'm not even going to go into if you've heard KPFT. You know, it's not nothing like me. But. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, let's uh, talk about what uh, brought you in today. Uh, you're an artist of what kind again? I, I consider myself like a visual artist and uh, somewhere between like modern art and like uh, abstract. That's where I kind of have found a home uh, as far as what genre. So what makes art modern? Uh, I think a lot of the, if you go back and look at all the Renaissance and like, um, uh, like people, and then even people in the 18th, like Van Gogh and all that, it's, they have like more objective real, like reality, like, or more realist things. Like they're drawing pictures of like people in robes and stuff like that. And then I think as, from my understanding, as time went on, people started to pull away from like more objectivity in paintings. That's my like definition of modern art is when it moves away from like uh, more permanent shapes and just moves into something more abstract. Oh. Like in the '60s, you had like, uh, and even in like '50s, you had guys like Dali and like Max Ernst, uh, a German painter who was like really good at just pulling nine hundred things out of one picture. So and is Dali considered modern? I would, yeah, I, I would say he was kind of like one of the bigger ones. From my understanding, he's like one of the bigger guys that kind of like, you know, and then like Andy Warhol, like okay, okay. The, the pop art type style and all of that where he was just taking pictures and putting them in like, you know, prints and stuff. And that's called... I, 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 would, I don't know. Yeah. I think, uh, like, I'm so out of touch of the art world. So, like, when I hear modern, it's not necessarily modern. Right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. There's, did, there's, did, yeah, I, I think it's it's like a like a term just that they use for, like, a style. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, is there, like, a term for, like, present day art? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> uh, born yesterday art. That's yeah, yeah, thing. born like, yesterday. It was like bread today. yesterday. Bread. Oh, look at that. Is it, was it bread from Houston? It was bread in Houston <laughs> and from Houston. So uh, I, um, I've known you for quite a bit, and I've seen a bunch of your paintings. And uh, before you, I think I was never into art, but... Um, Seeing your art, man, uh, I could definitely get something from it. And I know that that's what art is supposed to be, is get feel some type of way. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so this I, is what you brought today. Yes, sir. Right? I, I appreciate you saying that too, man. That's, that's what I'm going for, is just trying to get a feeling out of whoever sees it. Yeah. Because yep. it, it was painted with a, like, everything I do is just 100%, just trying to be, uh, I'm less concerned with, um, if it looks a certain way of how it, how I initially see it in my head and more concerned with if I'm, uh, like putting enough care into it when I do it and putting it, uh, intention into it. So what, what's the, like, uh, what's the process like? So do you have an image in your head and then try to put that on a canvas or are you freestyling it kind of deal? Um, I've done both. The, mo the most fun ones for me are when I, ha I have an image idea, I'll lo be looking at other artwork or uh, especially album covers. Mm. That, that was my first foray into like visual art. Like as a kid, like getting into that was uh album covers 
And so even today, like now I will look at an album cover, maybe one that I haven't seen before, and uh, I will use my limitations as a like more objective artist and try to replicate that, knowing that it's not going to come out anywhere near that. But then it's by using your own limitations, you've come up with like something completely original. So I'll start with like uh, an image that I'll have and I'll put it on my phone or something or on a computer screen and then just like try to use some of the same colors and textures and stuff and then just see what comes out of that. So when you say textures, is this like the medium or I don't even know if that's the right term, but the kind of paint that you use? Because, I mean, it yeah. looks bumpy. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's the right art yeah. term. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> bumpy? Uh, that, yeah. Textured. <laughs> that's what I would call just bumpy places. Yeah. Okay. Well, and for that one, um, I actually uh, I had drawn out like the actual like shape of the whatever that is in the middle. And then I just put a lot of paint in the dark spots and took the saran wrap or the wrapping that came on the canvas and just placed it on there and then let it sit for like, I don't know, like two or three days. Oh, and then I just ripped it off and I was left with all these cool textures and like shapes and stuff. And then I did the, I started doing the drip because they would catch in the grooves of that and like let it kind of just like make to a two toned thing. So, like, um, so is that like a couple different types? I mean, is it, is watercolor yeah. Yeah, part of that? There's okay, watercolor for like the brighter tones because I love how the you can blend and drip and like make really trippy looking like stuff on the back of the white canvas just makes it pop. But then uh, acrylics and um, for the drips, it's like very saturated like watercolors. Oh yeah, no, I mean like. And and what's crazy is your art is definitely evolving. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I mean, it. it yeah. the, your style is still there, yeah. but it's like, oh man, like this is completely different yeah. from what when I, I was the the first the first three or four that I did was literally just um, a canvas. Um, they were black canvases with uh, painters tape and mm -hmm. acrylics. That's that was wow. it. And I was just like making shapes out of those and then just like painting over them and then peeling the tape off. And I was just like, I'm calling that one good. <laughs> and, and now I'm sitting here like, I'm going to put saran wrap on it and like let it sit for two or three days and then rip it off and like throw paint at it. Like, <laughs> so was okay. So, so uh, after the saran wrap, um, you did the, the, the splatter paint on there, right? Yeah, splatter paint, and then uh, I would come through and just try to, like, uh, take different colors uh, with either watercolor or acrylics and just try to, like, pull more shapes out. That's one of the things that the Max Ernst guy, he's, like, one of my favorite painters, uh, his style. I don't really know a whole lot about him, like, personally, uh, but his art style has always just been, like, uh, something I'm trying to move towards being able to do eventually um he has a lot of really cool um like just like creatures and shapes creatures and, okay yeah, he's yeah. got some strange looking like trippy creatures well the, what's funny is like uh the, when i first saw it the, the first thing i thought is since you're bringing up album covers mm -hmm. is tool. yeah it's tool okay yeah, like yeah the, awesome the eye. yeah but, you, but what's yeah. funny is i i made sure to stay <laughs> quiet and i was like what you know you're like that thing in the middle and I was yeah like, it looks like an eye to me yeah i i always thought that uh it kind of looked like a uh like a rabbit that's like having a weird moment that uh, yeah. <laughs> like it's a side profile of a rabbit oh, now i see uh, it. yeah okay yeah. wow <laughs> that, that, that like so do, so do you ever i mean i don't know uh, like I saw a picture of your living room and you have all your art uh -huh. posted. So do you guys have friends over and like, what do you think? Uh, no, dude, actually the last time I had was like, I've just moved into this place and it was right after my birthday. So I had people over as like house for me and birthday and I had them all up. And, uh, one of my buddies was like, we're all like, you know, having beers and like hanging out and stuff. One of my buddies was like, uh, he's like, I don't know a whole lot about art, but like, you want to like tell me about each one of those? And I was like, not right now. And I just poured him a beer, and just like, gave it to him. I was like, here, just drink this. <laughs> no, no, I don't want to talk yeah. about it. So, so, uh, so people do ask you about it. Yeah, oh, that's I, awesome. Yeah, I get um, uh, some 
it's it's funny too because I've had people I have not spoken to like in, since like high school mm -hmm. like some of my work that I've posted on there, which is that's that's a trip to be able to just like recommunicate with someone without words like through a, like wow that's cool that you like it <laughs> like, we haven't talked yeah. in like 15 years but yeah did that's you awesome. end up talking to them no, no. <laughs> okay yeah no, I'm, I'm with you on that it's the same thing like when i post anything i was like man i haven't talked to that person let yeah uh, yeah let me just like, continue doing thank what i was doing you and then be like nope no, delete no, 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 that no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> oh that's funny so um how, so how many so okay, little since this one's here, how long? I know you said you put the saran wrap and you let mm -hmm. it stick for a couple of days. Yeah, like before you put the saran wrap, like how long were you working on um, this? Before I, I had just done, I had just done the shape of like the creature in the middle, and uh, I think that was it. Uh, before I just dabbed on those colors, and then uh, put that on there, and then everything else, like inside of the, like the 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 middle part, and all the detail and drips was all done like after that. But that one was like a two or three week thing because some of them I was, uh, I had done up to that point. The last like four or five that I had done were like just done very quickly. And so this one I was like, let me try and change it up a little bit and see what the result is by just like doing a little bit and pulling away and then come back like a couple of days later and try it. Cause like when you, the benefit of doing that is that you get different ideas. Mm. Like you can sit with it for a little bit, and then I find that the they come out uh, like trippier and more chaotic when you like wait on it, as opposed to just like because you're using maybe three or four colors initially if you're just making one in like an afternoon. But then if you sit sit on it and think about stuff, and like you're like, all right, I'm gonna come back and just like put drips all over it, and you do that, and you're like, all right, that's it for today. And then come back the next day when you're like, ah, oh, dude, I should just draw an eye in there. Mm. And like, <laughs> I, wouldn't, I don't know that I would have thought of that, like on the day when I did like the drips, you know? Oh, yeah. That, that's, that's awesome that, uh, that that's your process because I tell uh, the editors here all that, you know what I mean? Like get, get it to uh, theoretically 80%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't even look at it for a day to maybe a week and yeah. then come back to it and you'll get... Uh, yeah. So I'm glad that like, you know, some creative processes are still similar no matter what the medium is. Yeah. And so what, how do you know when a painting is finished? Because I know you said you put a little bit, step away from it. Like, have you ever gone too far? Oh, yeah. No, oh. <laughs> uh, that's and w what happens then is like whenever I've gone too far. <laughs> what's funny is like, if you look at any of the ones that I have on my Instagram page, um, any of the ones that have black backgrounds was an, another painting <laughs> that I didn't like. So I just I just painted it over with like w another color, like a dark, and then just did something different. Mm. So I've taken things too far. There's actually been uh, like two in particular that I was like, I had everything and I got like, it was awesome. And I got too excited. And I, I like, put something on there it's just the simplest thing and it just totally distracted like you from everything else that was cool and i was like well time to paint over it <laughs> so does that like do it's, you hurt your own feelings that way? no not... it's part of the fun actually okay like, because also to every every one that i've done i try to like really learn like look at it and learn something from it so it is, you know, while it's frustrating, it's more, it's not even, it's not like a negative frustration. You're just kind of like, oh man, like, oh well, and just go with, just go with it and just try it. Now you have the knowledge of like how to at least somewhat replicate that. And then, you know, you can come up with something even better. Yeah. I mean, but so that's, that's where I'm struggling. Like, because it's abstract, like, ha ha. Yeah, I I, I don't know when it's done. I don't know when it's done. I I I well, I know it's literally just a feeling, just uh, a voice in my head's going like, nope, no more. Yeah, is that and, like the muse or whatever they yeah, call it? it just yeah. it just uh, whenever I feel like it's done, I'll I'll even just be working on stuff and like in the flow, and all of a sudden, and then I'll stop for a second, and I'm like, it's this, there's no more. Done. Like, and I'm like, I, I want to keep going, but I'm like, nope this one's done just put it off to the side get your sketchbook out and get the rest of whatever else you want to do out so then have you ever had paintings where you're like okay it's done and then like a week or month or whatever yes. later be like actually it's i could have done oh. well 
I I try to that's one thing that I try to not do to go back and like uh add things or take away things from it. I try it's just like a uh practice of like committing. Like just whatever I feel like in that moment when I'm done is what I want people to see. So I will post it and then not take it down and like repost it. Like uh. I've only done that once and I literally just turned one of them sideways. <laughs> I, <laughs> I didn't do anything different to the actual painting itself, but I was like, it looks cooler this way, but I left the original one up there. Mm, okay. But like, I just, I want that moment when I feel like I'm done, like that's what I want people to see. And, and it's funny too, because I take the pictures right when they're fresh, but a lot of them I don't put, uh, like a seal or like a sealer or like Mod Podge or something mm -hmm. on top of it for like a couple months because I want the fading. Uh, like, like I want it to them. just, yeah, to get a little more vintage. It's like putting up like a vintage filter, but you just, yeah. you know, or it's like, uh, I was talking with Tom last night about it and he was like, uh, yeah, it's like um, letting like a lasagna like sit in the fridge overnight. Like it just, makes it richer in flavor yeah no no, no. I, well that's funny you bring up food because uh filipino food's the same way it's it's always going to turn out good that day but man just it bets it go better the yeah. next day because it just everything it just absorbs mm -hmm. like I, i've had like uh like um lasagnas or even just like sauce like chili yeah that's another Chili's thing another you one. just put it in so that's that was kind of like the idea for this i was like if i just let them fade a little bit and then put it on at the right color tone. So in a way, I'm still kind of working on them, even though they're done. I'm just, every day, I'm just like, all right, no, another day. Wow. So, I mean, does the fade happen? Like, I mean, I yeah. guess you, you paint just all the time, so you natural. know the difference. Yeah. It's, and, and on the pictures that I post on Instagram, you can see, like, how bright, how much brighter they are than in real life. But... In that, that's, but again, that's in that moment, that's what I wanted people to like see is just how it was like right when I was like, okay, it's done. Let's set it up, take pictures and post it and then never add anything to it. So once it's posted, that means it's done. It's done. Yeah. Done. No, done. no more messing around. No more messing around. I, uh, there's, well, there was, uh, one, I guess. Yeah. There is one that I added to. That's why I continued to do that because I did one. And it was one of those things where it's like, I took it too far and I posted it and I was like, I'm still going to leave both of them mm -hmm. up just so it's, it's like, you can decide which one you liked better. Yeah, so how fast is like the turn? I mean, not turnaround process. I'm talking in like video terms, but like yeah. uh, from start to finish on average, like how long does it, does on, that painting on, take? A, on average? Um, well, most there, it, it depends on the size of the canvas. Mm -hmm. Like for that like, one. That's the biggest one I think I've seen. Yeah, yeah, I have like three or four that are that size. And I want to get, I want to start doing bigger ones. But that's the biggest size that I've gotten. But on larger ones, I try to take my time just because they're going to be really big on the wall. And like, I want to, you know, for them to just be kind of more as detailed as possible. But as far as like the smaller, like ones that I post more frequently, those are in an evening oh, like see. i'll do that'll be like what i did that evening is okay. just um sit down and i try to restrict myself to like three or four colors and just try to see what i can get out of that and just have fun with it just let things just kind of yeah it's definitely a release i mean it it, it shows yeah it definitely shows yeah. I, I can i explain it no yeah, yeah. i can't explain, <laughs> but i can see that it's <laughs> yeah. some sort of release somehow yeah emotionally or it's, whatever it's extremely cathartic uh it's become extremely cathartic um because uh i mean the whole reason i started like even getting into it was uh i i don't know if you remember the freeze that happened yeah. in houston um i was living in an apartment and uh i had a pipe burst behind my shower head wall and it flooded my whole apartment and then Fine. the sun came out and I was flooded and nothing was done about it for two weeks. So all of the stuff I had on my walls, posters and stuff were just curled and destroyed. So I lived in my new place in Humble for like a year and a half. And I was like, I don't have anything on my walls. And I was like, uh, so I was like, you know, where do people go for stuff like that? So like, I went to the at home store mm -hmm. and it was all like, like live, laugh, love. And like, don't talk to me before I've had my coffee. 
can't like keep calm and carry on type stuff. And I was like, Hey, that's, that's, that's for you. That's, that's not for me. And plus it was like 60 bucks for like, one that's like this big. What? There was oh. like little trinkets that are like sixty dollars. So it's like I'm gonna spend my whole paycheck getting two paintings yeah. or something. And that says live, laugh, love. Yeah. And then so I was like, where do where else do you go? I was like, oh, um, like smoke shops, they have that panel of those in the back you can go through. And then I was like, it's like Bob Marley and the Whalers, Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon. Like I'm like, this is the live, laugh, love of college dorm rooms. Yeah. Like <laughs> that's you, a good one. <laughs> you don't I don't I don't want this either. So I was like, dude, like I've always wanted to get into art, you know, and stuff. So I took the sixty dollars I would have spent it at, at the at home store and went to Michael's and just bought like the cheapest stuff I could get. And those were the that was the first four that I did. Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. So you just started painting what like three years ago? Like j- under three years. Whoa, yeah. I didn't even know. I yeah. mean, I, if you, well, now everybody knows. <laughs> yeah. But you could have totally sold it as like, I've been I've painting been for 20 forever. years. No, yeah, because no. it, it totally looks like. Thanks. Uh, I mean, but, but then again, I'm very ignorant to art yeah. and, and abstract stuff. I is, still is super new I, to me. I, I still feel like I'm still like somewhat ignorant as far as like just the world, expansive world, but. Um, I'm, I'm having fun doing it and also like learning about the different like styles and structures. It's like, okay, if I can like, I like that aspect of something, like I want to try and incorporate that later. So I'm trying to not stick to just one style, but as I hopefully like progress, I want to like start just blending different like techniques and structures. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I try not to do the same thing for too long. Like I'll try to do three or four of something in a certain style with a certain like mindset and then just move on, move on. and do something different. That's the only way my ADHD doesn't allow me to. I mean, like... hey, that, that, <laughs> that makes it great for like, uh, I don't know, are they called a series of paintings? Yeah. Okay. And well, and I, I have done series. I had a, um, a whole series that was just, uh, I was, it were just monsters uh creatures that i was just accidentally drawing and being like that looks like a creature so i just started naming them monsters i think i remember and, these yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've, that's I'm... the only like longest like running like series of stuff i've done but um as far as just like doing different styles i just i try to do like three or four and then i don't even really have to like tell myself like this is the last one it's just like i'll do it and i'll be like okay that was the last one of that and I'm like, I want to do something different. Let's get back online and like find some new inspiration. inspiration. Yeah. Oh, okay. So then, do you pick um, when you pick colors? Like, what's the thought process, or are you just like, uh, <laughs> I've done, ones. I've done that. Oh, okay. I've done that. Where I'll just like uh, pour pour all the like the paints and the tubes like into a basket and just like, and then just like grab four and just drop it. And I'm like. Well, those are horrible colors. <laughs> I was about to say. I, but, but like, here we go. Oh, like, oh and you commit to it. Yeah, oh, that's you, awesome. I try, I try to. Sometimes I'll be like, no, I want this color right there. But like, but yeah, I try to just stick with that because it's, it's just like the randomness of it. But uh, as far as the, the colors, I, I put limitations on like, okay, you can only have four. And my favorite colors are like, like reds and blues. I always kind of hate that red and green together is kind of associated with Christmas because it's such a cool color combination. And I've been working with the like the the red and green a lot more recently because I'm trying to like some sub mission of mine is to like be like it's not just Christmas. Yeah. Like, well, <laughs> look. I mean, looking at this, when I see the red, I don't think Christmas. But yeah. yes, I agree yeah. with you. Generally, if if I see red I guess, and green, a clean, yeah, because that's definitely, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But it's like, oh, that's Christmas. But yeah, you know, it's like then Christmas was far out of yeah. my head, and I just yeah. look at the eye, and I was like, oh boy. There's also uh, on the red. I it was a completely accidental. It's just one. I <laughs> like dragon eye, like above it. You see it in the red? Yeah. Uh, no. Do you don't see? don't show. Don't tell me. Okay. I want to stare at it until it's I figure kind of it out. Like on the left hand. I, side of the red okay i, I don't know i some people some people have like just immediately been like oh there's an eye above this one and then other people are like uh no it, it just um and then i was like uh tom was saying uh it looks like i'm in a, like a cave i think that was, was i could see that, that. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no no i could totally I, see that. i love everybody's different take on it like 
You ever hear a take and you're like, no, 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 stop it. Yeah, no, no, I, no, I love everybody's take. I've heard people like even some people that are uh, one of my favorite um, things to get from like friends or somebody is uh, I and I personally, I, I love it when they're like, uh, it's interesting. <laughs> I, and I love that reaction because it's their honest reaction. And like it's their it's their uh, um it's 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 more it's just as fun as being like someone that's like i love it because then i can have a conversation with them about it and then i'm like well what do you you know what is it that you you know that you see in it and then hearing what they the people that have told me like oh it's interesting what they see is always sometimes like inspiration for something i'm gonna like the next time i do it Oh, I- <laughs> that's pretty cool it's like recycling or not i don't know i don't yeah. even know what the term is but yeah like getting inspiration from someone's image not completely wrong idea yeah but maybe, yeah. But yeah yeah and they're, they're like you know some somebody will be like i think somebody that told me that on this one was like uh it looks like a volcano or like a mountain and i'll yeah I and i was that like too yeah, cool. So my next thing, I want to try to do like some sort of volcano or mountain thing with. <laughs> oh man, that'd be like the fires of Mordor. The fires of Mordor. <laughs> Dude, uh, so uh, I know you said you do uh, album cover or not do them, but uh, pull inspiration. Like, mm-hmm. what uh, album covers so are inspiration? There's to? one on on my Instagram page. Um, the the painting is called Cooler Hearts Prevail, and. Uh, that was literally me looking at the Surfs Up album by Beach Boys. Because it's such, if you look at that album cover, it's so weird that, the, that they picked that. Because it's the Beach Boys. It's like, you know. But weren't they part of like the Manson family? A couple I, of them? They had, they had, they had worked with him. Oh. Like, and they, he, they, like, I guess they realized like halfway through working with him. He's like, he's got good songs. This guy's crazy. So like they were like no we're not dealing with him and then he was like really uh, Charles Manson was like really upset about it apparently but like I guess in some way was this do... before or after the rampage I don't I no. <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah. he's in Beach prison stop working he's in with prison me. I don't know do I don't know why they would do that <laughs> yeah. no, I'm gonna when tell I... other people do what yeah. to do <laughs> no the the Surfs Up album cover is such is so bizarre too and especially that song is like so far like removed from like. That album cover, album cover straight up looks like it could be on a like a like a doom album like today. It's like a soldier like just leaning over like a horse that's like leaning over and he's holding a spear under his arm, but it looks like it's all underwater. The way it's well, painted that is weird. That yeah, Beast and Boys picked that. So then if I if I I was looking at that and I did that Cooler Hearts Prevail and I just I had, it. Ended up to me looking like a like a diseased heart in like a rib cage that was underwater, or something. So I was like, you know, cooler hearts always prevail, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool hearts. Yeah. So, uh, look, so let's uh, go into the music stuff. That uh, so you say uh, a lot of the music that you listen to inspires you to yeah. do the paint. So like, well, what are some albums? some Burdner? some no. some bands? Yeah, actually, yeah, I actually featured uh, some Burdner, uh their song "Sewer" on. I'll post. Um, the still images and put um, audio behind them on my Instagram stories, and I've used uh, that song at, uh, at least twice. On yeah, yeah it's a great song. such a good song. Yeah, it's a good and song. Uh, and then, uh, but a lot of them uh, right now I've been getting into a lot because it's really good uh, vibe music. Is like uh, like industrial, like goth music, like very synthy based like stuff. Um. There's this one band, I don't know how you pronounce the first word of it. It's spelled C-R-E-U-X, and then the word lies, like crow lies or crew lies. Like LaCroix? No. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just, they just swapped it. Yeah. Oh, man, that is what they did. And we're like, LaCroix, what about crew lies? Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> this will fit our uh, ED synth pop sound. I mean, it works. Yeah, and, no, and that, that band's like really cool. I just found out about them. There's a, a like a goth based like metal band called uh, Unto Others. I think that I've I'm, seen that. Yeah, but not I think heard they that. actually opened. It was uh, they played at Black Magic Social Club on opening night with like Night Cobra and like, like when they first opened. Yeah, like okay, first, so this was well, a while. Yeah, ago. a okay, few okay. years ago. Like, they played recently. Yeah, no, but they. I've been. I've been. I couldn't make that show, but I was. I was really bummed that I couldn't make it. But uh, there's that one. 
And then just like all the stuff from my like childhood. So like uh, I love and another album cover that is definitely one of the ones that I like. I listened to that album when I was a kid because the album cover was uh, uh, Boston self-titled. They're the one that's got the the guitar that's like a, a UFO. Yeah. That they like with all the that was I just thought that was cool. And like all oh, there's colors and there's like it's dark too. Yeah. So uh, do you have a name for this one? This one's called Influence. Influence. Okay. And the I one of the things I like doing is um not having any sort of idea for a like a like a word. Like I don't wanna paint something and then immediately know what it is so like i like to put it off to the side for a little bit and just like casually look at it and then after a while maybe like 30 minutes to an hour i'll come back and be like all right this one's called whatever but this one it's just um there's so many different like things that i used on it so it's a bunch of different of my influences mm, so it's now a collection. I it. <laughs> it's kind of a collected piece of like just a bunch of different things i had been wanting to do just all in one oh, oh, yeah. so have you ever thrown on an art show before no i've i am since i'm still pretty like new to it i'm uh i haven't i've just been trying to like build up you know uh, I think right now I'm sitting at like 84. I was about like to say, a, you like probably got to have yeah. close to 100 at this <laughs> yeah. point. Yeah. Oh, man, that's awesome. It's like 84 of them. And eventually I, want, I do want to open up like an online store and get like prints made. There's actually a, uh, a couple of them I did recently that I actually want to, I don't know if it'll sell, but put on t-shirts. I buy them. Yeah, there's, mm. there's a couple. There's one called Sugar and then another one called Assassin that I did like recently that I kind of want to put on like black and white t-shirts. Is it on your Instagram? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's all, right, all, right, all right. Good, 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 good. Yeah. Cause I think for a little bit, or maybe I just wasn't on Instagram, but like there was a, a small gap where you weren't posting anything. Yeah. I, and, and during that time it was literally just, um, uh, I, I s stepped away because I was like, that was a lot going on in in the personal life and then um i also too kind of wanted to like see like if i stopped for a while how it would feel when i came back and just collected a whole bunch of ideas because i noticed the first the reason i did that and i'll probably eventually feel like i might need to do it again is like i felt like i had kind of like unbottled like a lot of stuff and i not that i felt like i was just re like repeating myself but I was like, I'm not, I'm having a, a difficult time, like, coming up, like, even picking colors. Mm. So I was like, if I just put it down for a little bit and let it kind of build back up, then when I come back, I, it'll be, it'll uh, be natural. So how long was that break? Your tolerance break, I guess. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's basically yeah. what it is. <laughs> I got to build, I got to lower my tolerance. Uh, I think like, two, it was like, it was like three, three months. But, oh, bef wow. but before that, I had been posting something like almost every weekend or like twice a week yeah no that that's while. the one i remember and i was like oh man oh something's coming up yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude uh, so are, is there a number that you're trying to hit before you start um on 100 shows? would 100 would be cool i think i'm at 84 yeah so you, you, another... you let me know yeah i yeah. got you dude yeah how for real it's very cool yeah yeah no <laughs> no i mean i think uh dude your art is great and and i'd like seeing more of it and the bigger I mean, I'm sure. So, uh, how, how much paint do you go through? Um, actually, <laughs> I'm still using the original one that I bought like two and a half years ago. Um, I bought more since then, but I'm I, I I don't use a whole lot. I'm still pulling from those those tubes that I bought like three almost three years ago. Are these like giant three feet long? No, tubes? they're oh. just like they're like they're like this big. Oh, okay, I, I, I was like two I, and a half years. Use, you paint a lot. <laughs> I use a lot of water. Because I like to spread. I, a lot of people know how to like use, uh, like, uh, like the knife, the knife things, yeah. and they'll pull just like straight stuff from there. And I'm like, I want it. I want. I want it. It's like smeared. So I use a lot of water. So that stretches my my paint. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, oh man, we're. Oh, I got See, I think this is the problem bringing friends on because I we can talk. Forever. Yeah. Like, yeah. That went by super quick, but. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, we're probably going to have to. But here, you know what? No, it is not unfortunate. 
let us let the listeners and the viewers know like well where can they see the rest of your stuff um this uh i'm I, i'm on instagram at it's at dust banshee d-u-s-t-b-a-n-s-h-e-e uh all lowercase one word at dust banshee um and then uh that's where i primarily post everything for now uh, i'll eventually get like an online store but um before we go i was gonna uh i was gonna say i'm I'm going to gift you guys this painting. Uh, so you guys, uh, that's, that's why I selected this one. Cause I was just, just like, I'm super excited. I want to bring my a game. So that- I'm going to, I'm going to give you guys, uh, this, this one. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Where would we put it in here? Jo- Joel, I'm looking at you. Yeah. Your office, what the front, where's your office at? Oh, okay. The raid, the nest. Then that's yeah. Look, this is so on radio talking to the producer behind the scenes. No microphone over there. No, man. Oh, that's awesome. Well, that's great because uh, now every time uh, anyone comes in here, yeah. I want to hear everyone's yes. uh, interpretation. And then and then just text me whenever you hear some like really wacky ones. Yeah, no, I would love to. I mean, I think that's like the best part about art, right? It's yeah. hearing the wacky parts. It's, it's and, hearing is hearing uh, good and bad. I don't. Because bad's bad's still good. Yeah. Even if somebody tells you they hate it, you're like, I mean, it feels good too. Yeah, like, yeah. Really you does. got a reaction out <laughs> yeah, of it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's cool that you don't get like all butthurt no. about it. No. Because I mean, it, it, I feel like that's the at this point, uh, I think that's the beauty of abstract because yeah. it could go either way it's, instead of trying to make something beautiful. Yeah, it's the casualness of it, and uh, that's I think for me, it's been really good uh for like just mental health and just stress free something like i don't put any sort of like uh like strong emotions once it's done like you know that it's all there and hopefully people can see it but as far as like people's uh reactions with it like i i remain very like not separated but like it's like hey that's cool man like <laughs> super zen about super, it bro. super zen about it it's oh, nice man. having it's nice having a zen like aspect in your life some people ride uh like skateboard and stuff and then i just go home and uh paint on canvas so is your painting room messy <laughs> no really i keep ah. it pretty clean really actually my painting thing right now is my uh, it's my kitchen counter. <laughs> I mean, it better be clean, right? You're yeah, eating off that exactly. list or cooking on so it. So I have to clean it after each time. Because so. I would imagine painting something like this would, it, it's just paint splatters everywhere. Yeah. You know, just like all the crazy Instagram videos yeah. I see of the guy on the trapeze. And he's, and, and he's throwing yeah, it and yeah, they have yeah. like, a whole, like a whole room. If I had a room like that, just a concrete room, I would just intentionally leave all of the colors and splatters there and yeah. then just like take pictures of that. That would be cool. That would be art in itself right but, there. But then when I'm like posting, like I take a picture of like some eggs I made and there's like paint next to it i'm like no nah, yeah, clean this up get the windex get the <laughs> yeah, windex, get the windex out. Mm-hmm. well uh here we're gonna do do you all right so um i'm gonna stay with the tradition that ccn does uh do you have any advice for new people for the community uh, to you know uh with painting or art in general buy cheap stuff to start out with <laughs> Like it's, it's to me, I still use, I still love using cheap stuff because it's a part of, it's just like a part of what it's a, a part of the limitations that you use to your advantage. So like, it's not about just buying the super expensive, you know, nice tipped brushes that helps if that's the style you're really going for. But if you're just looking to get into just like, you know, having a casual thing that you do, that's like a release, like I wouldn't even worry about it. prices on like, you know, buy the cheap stuff and just make it work for you. That's the, that's my main piece of advice. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I say the same thing. Like, start with cheap stuff and figure it out. And if you can make the cheap stuff look good, then you can. Up, ma- yeah. yeah, if you buy something, and then also too, you get the benefit of like the you know learning on like not as good. So when you do make that transition, like the 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 motor skills are there. Yeah. So it's just easier than starting out with. It's easier to drive a Volvo starting out when you're driving a car than it is like a McLaren. 
Yeah, I hear so people like, <laughs> crash those all the time when, <laughs> yeah. as their first car yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, because it's like probably hard to drive. Like yeah. the clutch just drops in and you're just immediately doing like clutch. 40 miles an hour. Yeah, what's a clutch? What, I, don't a clutch to, I don't know how to drive standard. Is that is it standard <laughs> is or it manual? A clutch? Yeah. <laughs> the three pedals? What's the third yeah. one? What, what's the third? Is that an extra brake pedal? Yeah. Oh, it's not braking at all. It's not braking. What's that? What's that smell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that's what? a terrible sound. Like, uh, <laughs> 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 Stall out. <laughs> well dude connor thank you for being the first non-musician on here it was um uh, now everyone else after has uh, a high standard to follow oh, this was so man. easy dude uh thank you so much for having me this is like so much fun i what? always have a good time like talking to you this is this is like yeah. super fun yeah it's just we're sober this time yeah exactly <laughs> we're not we're not we're adults though. we're not six beers deep right <laughs> yeah. now yeah like, <laughs> yeah, oh, exactly. yeah. Yeah. but you know what i feel like the add was still there yeah and i think exactly. uh it's the, it was the charm of this conversation yeah. right we're just like everywhere going back forth just jumping up, all yeah. over the place yeah but uh so uh, i would like to also thank uh joel back here uh, handling the audio and uh, the video when people see this uh or if the listeners are inclined to hear it or see uh, hold on let's rewind <laughs> I'd like to thank Joel back there doing the audio and cutting the video for the listeners. If they are inclined to see it, uh, this is the only time I can drop links because that's what the FCC says. Is uh, Go on YouTube and look for CCN Media HTX. Yes? You know what? Just Google Community Cultivation Network and you'll find this. And... Um, yeah, you're listening to The Houston Collective on KPFT 90.1 FM. I am your host, Messiah the Video Guy, signing out.